So earlier today, I had some questions about how to operate a piece of gear and I couldn't figure out the best workflow for it. And somebody said, you know what? That's a great idea. Um, uh, it shouldn't be assumed that everyone knows how to use it in this way or whatever. Um, Cause the manufacturers nowadays don't actually put out very good guides. They leave it up to content creators to figure out the best workflow or the best solution to solve the problem. So anyway, uh, the guy that I asked the question to literally posted the video um, five minutes before I started recording now. And what was interesting was um, uh, yesterday I actually began a conversation with uh, someone on my channel on one of my videos about Overcast. And he had some questions about the app. And let's look at the basics from what I can understand is basically he was asking, how do you access the queue of podcasts? Um, how do you... Well, we're, I'm going to talk about, in addition to that, how to add a podcast and how to add a playlist as well. And uh, how do you skip to the next podcast and how do you modify those settings in terms of um, uh, 15 second uh, fast forward or 30 second fast forward or just to skip to the right to the next show or the next track altogether. We'll talk about that real quick. Um, we'll talk about short, sorting shows and episodes in a playlist. And we'll also talk about the controls and the pages and the screens that Overcast uses. So let's go ahead and do that now. And again, forgive the quick and dirty version. This is the kitchen breakdown. I wanted to make sure I was answering the question as best as I could. So forgive me for that. Let's go ahead and do it now. So let's talk about what you do when you first open up uh, Overcast. So. Here's Overcast here, and I'm looking through the camera doing this, forgive me. The exposure might not be correct, but uh, I wanted to make sure I get the darker parts are more important than the bright white parts. Anyway, so when you open up Overcast, this is actually the main screen, and up at the left is the settings. This is the download um, menu, which uh, we'll get into that. This is the add a playlist menu, and this is the add a episode menu, that plus sign there. So when you come here, this will actually be blank. You'll, you'll only have two choices here. You'll have your playlists and then you'll have your podcasts, right? And the podcast section is broken down. So what, uh, your playlist will, this is, I just have one main, ep, uh, uh, playlist here. It's all episodes, but we're going to go ahead and create another episode, um, another playlist to illustrate what it's like to create a playlist and to find some shows and put it in. So, um, currently these are my podcasts, um, these are all the ones that still have shows that are unplayed and downloaded currently to my phone. And then as I get lower and lower, aha, now it has the played podcasts, right? And these are all the shows that I probably already finished listening to. And yes, I know it's a lot of shows, but I have a very varied uh, podcast pa palette, if you will. But anyway, so basically all these shows at the very bottom are the ones that you're still subscribed to that are currently have no um, active shows or um, no new downloads or no new RSS feeds. Um, uploads have been added to the by the um, producers. And then these are the ones that currently I still need to listen to some shows. And so this is my workflow, basically. So let's go ahead and start a new playlist. Let's uh, I want to start a new playlist and we will title it new playlist and then we want it'll ask what 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 do you want to include so we can go to all the shows these are all the ones that are unplayed right now that are already on my phone and i can go ahead and add whatever i want let's go with one of those let's go with one of those and let's go with one of those right and then so now you're done you're done with that so you go ahead now there and it should see it's, it pops up the ones that you've included. Let's say you want to be done there, right? So now you go to, uh, you want to add some other shows. So let's type in, um, uh, well, let's go to NPR or something safe. Okay. Not politics. Let's not do that. Uh, let's go with, um, Oh, let's go with Ted Radio Hour. And I like this show. I want to subscribe. Um, 
and I am, it's downloading the most recent episode and then I have the choice to download some more. How I download them is I can swipe like that and if you swipe hard, it'll just download automatically to this show. So um, this will be downloaded to both all shows and um, then if I want to add it to my playlist, I actually have to add it to, um, let's see. I can edit, edit playlist, and then I can, um, uh, let's see, included playlist, and I go to the downloaded show. And again, this is kind of an extreme example because I have so much downloaded, but basically um, it, it should load up at the very bottom, if I'm correct. Oh, uh, yeah close to the bottom. So then I go ahead and add it. And you're done with that. So it's kind of hard looking through the screen doing this, but basically this is that playlist. So I'm done. So my new playlist is, these are my shows. If I want to move the show, I go on the icon, right? Drag and drop, right? If I wanted to, let's say that, uh, let's turn on the volume because I don't want to, to actually play the volume, but let's say, right, um, that I'm listening to some podcasts. So I'm, you know, I'm, I've opened up the player. Let's do that again, right? So I've opened up the player. It opens up to the last screen that I was on. Um, I'm go to my new playlist and this one's not downloaded. I swipe and now it's boom, downloaded the speed of, well, never mind. So, okay, so the others that are downloaded, so let's say I'm playing this bad boy, right? I click on it, I can favorite it, I can upload it to share it, um, I can um, add it to another list, I can delete. Okay, let's go ahead and, I don't want to star it, but that was a good example. So let's go ahead and play this bad boy, right? So now it's playing. So the controls here um, allow me to rewind and fast forward for 30 seconds, and then there's pause and play in the middle. Makes sense. If I go over here, I can, you know, do the smart speed. Um, I can do the, um, you know, do the fast forward. I listen to my stuff on 2X, sometimes up to 3X now, depending on how well it's recorded. Um, then let's see. I can put a timer. I could, so this goes, this toggles between those two screens. Now there's a third screen here that gives the episode details and you can go directly to the show and get more of the downloads off their website or whatever. Anyway, so I don't really use that, but anyway, so there are some other stuff, information about the show. Okay. So let's, let's get to the controls. So we did, um, how do you access your queue? We did add a podcast and we, need to skip to the next podcast. So press and hold. All right. So press and hold, right? Boom. So, um, I didn't explain that earlier when I was, uh, discussing it with, uh, the gentleman that asked the question, but it's a press and a hold. Um, that's how you skip to the next show. Right. And again, if you were listening to say this show, but you just wanted to, um, let's go back to it. You can go, well, let's go back to it like this. I just swipe up from the bottom and this is the show that's currently being played. Let's say that I want to, um, see my playlist again. I use the Chevron there to go back and I just want to skip. I don't want to hold on the buttons. I go right to the show that I want to play and then I just press play. Pause. I can either hold it down, hold it down, hold it down and go through it like that or I can just go back to the playlist. Let's hit that Chevron again. Um, let's say I'm tired of that playlist right now. I go here and then I can select whatever I want from my current shows. If I don't, if I'm say I'm playing this podcast right here, right? And it's currently playing, but I want to, let's say I'm browsing and I, another one catches my eye. I say, Ooh, look at this one but I don't want the current podcast to stop playing. I can click info and I can read about this one 
and you know whether I want to play it or not and exit. And guess what? The current podcast is still playing. It wasn't interrupted. Whereas if you did this and press play, it just, you know, that's the other way to just go to that show and then the info would automatically pop up. See? So, you know, there is that. Um, let's try something else. Since we learned about the press and hold over here and we can drag and drop, let's press and hold in the middle. There's still drag and drop. Okay. Press and hold over here. Still drag and drop. Okay. So, um, trying to speed things up here for you guys. So again, you 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 know, when you're sorting shows, press and hold and you can move the shows, the episodes, everything like that. Okay. Um, let's see controls controls. I would go to here and I'd go to advanced and nitpicky details. And the skip backwards, I can select seven seconds, 60 seconds, skip forward, same thing. Uh, whether I want to resume where I'm at or start from the top, um, you know, and it allows you a lot more stuff. I don't, I've already sorted my stuff in a way that I don't need to make any changes. But here is where I wasn't able to answer the gentleman's question until I just <laughs> attempted the press and hold for the 30 second fast forward. But anyway, check this out. This section here is for how to use it with a car uh, a dashboard or with a Bluetooth headphones or earpiece or what have you. And it says, well, one tap, two taps, three taps, tap and hold, tap, tap, hold. And then you can customize, I think. Can you customize? No, those are locked in. Um, and then it just shows what the remotes are record plus and minus. Um, I think that's it. Hopefully that's everything, but you know, um, th it gives you a lot of controls here. Um, this is for me, one of those apps. I listen to so many podcasts as you can see, but, um, like I think currently I have 250 something download. Um, but anyway, um, oh, that's another thing I should mention. I wouldn't go above, um, 300. I know that sounds ridiculous even, but if you're a power user, you understand if, I wouldn't go above like 300 episodes because it starts getting funky and like as far as not the performance of it, but the memory of it. So for instance, um, right now it says 250. Um, if you listen to 10 episodes, it'll stay still say 250 or let's say that said 350. And let's pretend like this said 350. You could listen to 10, 20, 30 episodes and it'll still say 350. But once you get below 300, it starts playing fair. Like as soon as you listen, finish listening to an episode, it'll, it'll say, you know, 249, 248, 247. And that's just, you know, if you're, you know, really picky about knowing how many episodes you have less left, sometimes that can, um, make you a little anxious. Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> um, I think they, uh, he also adds, the ability to get rid of the how many episodes you have left um if you are slightly paranoid about oh my gosh i still got so many episodes on the phone but anyway it's somewhere here i used it before uh basically it, it uh it it just takes this number removes it from here so you don't feel so anxious to check your phone it's it's uh or uh to Listen, I got it. Uh, you know, I'm falling behind on my podcast, so you don't feel guilty or anything. Anyway, um, I hope that's I hope that's the deal. Um, but anyway, like I said, oh, um, uh, yeah, this that just goes directly to the download screen and whether you want to. These are the ones that are in the queue, but are not downloaded yet. And you can just again, boop, boop, slide, 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 and you can click download and it'll download all. Uh, and again, the search searches the entire RSS. Um, no, this search over here searches all these show lists that you currently have. So even if I put um, PBS, oh, it does. Okay, word. I learned something new. So you can search all podcasts, not just the ones in your player, but you can, or the ones that you have downloaded or subscribed to. You can just go straight to search and type in anything you want and go ahead and download that bad boy there. That's pretty interesting. I thought you had to always do go to this screen first, but anyway, um, 
Yeah, man, I've never used the ad, R ad URL, but um, this video is getting kind of long. Hopefully that helped. Um, again, you know, YouTube is one of those things that you always got to be, um, when done right, when executed right, you know, you get this sense of community and people are willing to answer your questions and it just uh, passes forward. So, you know, I'm going to learn something new when I get a chance to look at the uh, um, old boys video that answered my question and hopefully I'm passing it along and so on and so forth. Um, take care of yourself and have a good day. And again, forgive my production today. I just wanted to make sure I get this bad way out. Have a great one. Bye.